Okay, we are back. And uh, my wife and I uh, last night watched Red Notice on Netflix. And, you know, it's being touted as the, I guess with the internal numbers, the most watched premiere ever on Netflix. It was released in theaters a couple of weeks ago, I think, uh, on a limited run. Uh, I have to say, I knew nothing about this movie going in. I knew who was in it, um, which is uh, uh, Ryan Reynolds and Dwayne Johnson and uh, Gail Godot, or Godot, however how you say it. Um, and I didn't see any previews. I didn't see anything. So I went into this, just let's hit play and, and go to it. And of course, as the credits are rolling up, um, I loved it. Uh, uh, the credits are rolling up and then I see film by, directed by, uh, Rawson Marshall Thurber. Now, Rawson uh, is awesome. Okay, I just have to say that right off the bat. Um, I worked on Where the Millers, and he was the writer and director of Where the Millers. And uh, uh, fantastic. When I did that movie, it was a long time ago, and I was uh, in the production office at that time. Uh, and so when you work in the production office, uh, you're kind of there uh, before everyone gets there. And then slowly people start showing up and flying in uh, on airplanes and cause they're getting their housing and all that stuff. And so Ross and, um, you know, I guess it was like six weeks prior to filming, you know, he was on the ground and, you know, you get to know him every day and he's the one reason why he's so cool. Not only does he write amazing, fun comedy and great films, um, He's also a San Francisco 49er fan, which I'm a San Francisco 49er fan, but he's like hardcore. Like this guy's got the tickets. He's always going to the games. You know, I can't fly to um, San Francisco and go to a game. I've seen a couple, seen the 49ers play the Falcons, saw the 49ers play uh, um, the Panthers, you know, but, but he, the, you know, he had better, he had to have had better seats than me at the, at the 49er games that he goes to, but we really hit it off. Um, and it was super awesome. One of my favorite movies that I've ever worked on in my entire cinematic career was Where the Millers. That was just like a, an amazing blessing to work on that film. But um, I digress. So, and I also worked on uh, Journey to the Mysterious Island with Dwayne uh, Johnson, and Dwayne is amazing too, absolutely amazing. Um, so. <laughs> this movie, Je Ryan Reynolds is in uh, perfect form. He had some zingers that I was, <laughs> the wife and I were laying in bed and we're watching this thing and he had some zingers that came out of nowhere. Great writing, by the way. But, you know, it's all about the delivery with Ryan Reynolds. I mean, this guy is just on point and I just started laughing and couldn't stop laughing. And it's funny because there's certain levels of laughter with me. You'll get the ha ha ha. <laughs> but if you get a, a, a can't breathe under the breath kind of laugh and I can't replicate it because it has to come naturally, you know, you've got me now this movie, it, you know, the, the tagline is, uh, an Interpol agent tracks the world's most wanted art thief. And it's just fun. This movie's just fun. The locations that they go to, there's a lot of CGI in it, but that's okay. Um, uh, but everything, everything, the sets were amazing. Uh, some of the set decorating that went on in, in, in these, in this film was just fantastic. So you can tell he just put together stellar, stellar, um, cast, the comedy. I don't want to ruin it. Okay. Um, about the last act of the film, this, the first, second, and third act, the third act, is very Indiana Jones. I mean, it just goes full on Indiana Jones. Um, they pay homage to Raiders of the Lost Ark. Uh, I, I, there's two places where they pay homage to Raiders of the Lost Ark. I don't really want to give them away. Should I give them away? Spoiler alert. I'm going to say them, but if you don't want to hear them, just, I'm going to give you like two seconds to hit pause and go forward. Okay. Okay, so there's this little thing where they get into this, uh, in the third act, into this, like, um, uh, uh, hidden fortress underground. I'll just call it that. And um, Ryan Reynolds starts whistling the first, you know, couple of nods of Raiders of the, you know, the, the, the Indy March, you know. 
And it was just like priceless because, you know, they weren't hiding it. I mean, it was like, this is like an Indiana Jones adventure kind of thing. And also there were lots of uh, crates laying around, you know, old wooden crates, you know, from, from back during World War II in this scene. And one of them had the top secret and the serial number and everything for the Ark of the Covenant. But it was off in the, I caught it like right away. Like it, that didn't get past me. I was like, oh, dude, you know, cause once he started whistling the Indiana Jones theme and then they, you, I saw it. I was like, okay, they paid, paid homage. And that's the right way to do it where it's something in the background that you may or may not see, but a hardcore Raiders Lost Ark or Indiana Jones fan like me, I, I came, I saw it. Okay. I, that was it. Um, lots of fun. Uh, you know, uh, they go to all different countries, you know, Rome and this and that, and, but, and it's all this, I mean, <sighs> It's just a fun movie. Like you go into it just to have fun, to laugh, uh, and and to enjoy a, a, a silly action film, you know. Um, uh, and this isn't the first time that uh, you know Rawson has worked with Dwayne. Uh, he did Skyscraper with him, um, and you know that's not uncommon. That you know a lot of guys once you work with somebody one time and you have a blast, you just keep. You know, you'll do another film with them or another film. They also did um, Central Intelligence together was another film that they did together. So so th this is the third film Rawson's done with Dwayne, and it's great. Um, uh, I, I'm smiling because I'm replaying scenes in the movie in my head um, uh, that were really good. There was a great scene where um, uh, uh, Gail is... Um, uh, Th throws her feet up on a feet up on a desk and she's got boots on knee high boots and they're Christian Louboutin. Like the bottoms are like that blood red. And I'm sitting there right next to the wife. And I was like, Oh, look at those Christian Louboutin boots. Those are so awesome. Um, and you know, uh, that was just something that stood out, stood out to me because it was like, what a choice. Like if you, if, if you're going to wear knee high boots and they're Christian Louboutin, you have to show the bottom or people won't know. And they just did it in such a very, you know, ah, oh, look at this. Look at, look at what she's wearing. <laughs> and uh, it was cool. Um, the fight scenes, the action, the guns, all that stuff was really good. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of who, uh, you know, Gail did great. Ryan did great. Uh, Ritu Arya. I, oh my, I just totally butchered her name. She played the inspector from Interpol that was on the tail chasing the 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 bishop which was uh, uh gail's uh code name uh throughout the whole thing she did fantastic and um uh soto voce i think that's how they said it it was so funny with the way ryan reynolds said it in the, in the movie this character played by chris uh diamantopoulos I, I totally killed his last name he was awesome and had me laughing uh all through his scenes so if you have time it's now the number one watched uh, movie in Netflix history for a premiere, and it's worth it. It's fun. Kick back, Netflix and chill, or Netflix and just have some popcorn, whatever, and just chill at the house. This is a fun movie. Fun movie. Uh, and it still may be limited out there in the theater if you're willing to go out there and chase that. But the bottom line is um, uh, Red Notice, fantastic uh, just fun movie. Watch it. Check it out. And uh, let's talk about it in the comments section. We'll see you on the next one.